and it's very unique to California. It's not found anywhere else in the world. So it's right here in the zoo's backyard. There's so many different organizations doing work um, right here locally in our backyard and all working together, getting really great positive results, watching the balance of the ecosystem between the islands and the channel come back into balance after so many years and getting to be a part of that. Uh, it's a great positive story for conservation. For me personally, the Santa Barbara Zoo has a special connection because of our size and our involvement in the community. The people we that come to the zoo come to the zoo because they care about the animals and they want to know and they want to learn. So I get to spend the day working with really great animals and every day I learn something I didn't know the day before and then I walk around and every person I run into is just as passionate about animals. So I get to spend the day learning things and sharing it with really great passionate people who spent their day at the zoo came just to, to learn as well, so that makes for a really fun working environment. White shark. Meanwhile, the Santa Barbara Polo Club is saddling up for one of the largest polo tournaments in the country. Key News reporter Joe Bittuda is standing by with our preview. Joe? Sharin, it's one of the top polo events in the world. The Pacific Coast Open showcases the best the sport of polo has to offer. And it's right here in Santa Barbara. Santi Torres playing the number two position all season for Lucchese. He leaves it for Captain Adolfo Cambiaso.